While multiplayer is designed so that most things can be done on the server and automatically replicate to each client, it's not always the most efficient way to do things. Particle effects is a notable example which is better done client-side. Let's look again at our previous example with a particle effect when pushing a button. 100 particles are spawned on the server. For these to show up on all clients, they need to be synchronized over the network, which will consume a considerable amount of bandwidth. A more efficient approach would be to spawn 100 particles on each client. The particles won't affect the rest of the scene, since they're just a visual effect, and it's not essential that they are exactly the same on all clients, so they don't technically have to be synchronized from the server. If we have the particle effect in a separate function, it's very easy to move it to the client part of the script using client call. Just as you might imagine, it's similar to server call but goes in the other direction. The first argument specifies on which client the call should be made. You can also provide zero to make the call on all clients, which is what we want in this case. The second argument is the name of the function to be called on the clients. It may look strange to provide the function name as a string, but note that the function may very well not even exist on the server, so we have to reference it by name. We can pass the position as an argument to the function just as we normally would. All arguments will be sent over the network and recreated on the clients, so try to keep it at a minimum to save bandwidth. The sound that goes with the particles is now played on the client, so it has to be loaded in client init instead of server init. The result looks exactly the same, but now requires less bandwidth. Just to verify that it's in fact running client side, we can try sending the client call only to the player that pushed the button. We can clearly see that the particles only appear for the player that pushed the button. Changing it back to zero spawns the particle effect for both players, regardless of who's pushing the button. Complex particle effects are particularly important to move client-side, but it can also be beneficial to move other things that don't affect the state of the scene. Things like sprites or sound effects, but also lines or outlines.